Now, you see Dyra, my therapist, she's just putting a couple of drops of essential oils into her hands, rubs them together, and she's just going to put her hands above the client's face there. So this is a really nice touch to start the facial. It's just this lovely waft of these essential oils. And again, it's just, it makes you stand out from the crowd, just doing something very simple like this. But again, it's all about um, the senses when it comes to these sorts of treatments. So it just makes that person feel like, wow, this is gonna be something really special. So, okay, so she's done that now. Now what we need to do now is to cleanse the skin. So this is a cleanser we're using here. And you'll notice all the way through, they're always lifting strokes. You see she starts at the neck and chin, works through. So we're cleaning up any impurities, any uh, makeup that might be on there. So you want the face nice and clean uh, for the facial, obviously. So this is your first step here. Once you've got the headband on, you're going to clean the face. So just see just working around there. And again, you'll see Dyra is using a, a, a reasonably firm touch. And that's nice. Again, it's like massage. You don't want to be too soft. Obviously, if you have someone who is um, you know, an older person that has thin skin, for example, you'd back off the, the pressure a little bit. But uh, really, a nice firm movement, uh, firm pressures, uh, really feel great. So now if we're getting the sponges, these are little sponges that have been sitting in warm water. Again, because it's nice to have warm sponges on, you wouldn't put them in cold water uh, because that's not going to feel so good unless you're in an extremely hot climate and no air conditioning or something and it might feel better having cool. But on the whole, you want to use nice. These just dipped in warm water and then squeeze the water out before you use them, of course. Now what we're doing here, Dyra is just getting a, it's a, a little cleansing lotion for the eyes, especially it helps take off the mascara. Uh, just around the eyes, it just puts those on these little sponges. This spe another special product that we use and just puts them on there. Okay, so the next step is to use the steamer. Now this happens to be an ozone steamer and it's very, very good to open the pores. It'll soften up any blackheads, the steaming process that is, soften up blackheads, whiteheads uh, for extractions if you're going to do extractions. And so that's what you do, you put this steamer on now, if you don't have a steamer, you could, uh, you want to do like a home facial, you could have you know, some warm water, um, get the person with a towel, like, like when you have a cold, if you're going to put your head over a water with a towel over your head, um, you could do that if you're just doing it home for yourself or a friend and put some essential oils in if you wanted to. Uh, likewise, you could use a warm towel, uh, like with the person sitting here, have a, a towel that's uh, been in hot water obviously test the temperature, you can put that on there so they can also uh, get the benefit of the steam just from a warm towel. But uh, you can buy these machines from really $35 off Amazon. Uh, this one's a little more expensive, and uh, but you can get them very cheaply. And I suggest you invest for a small amount of money, you can invest in them and um, they're fantastic and it just makes your life a lot easier. Obviously, before you put steam on someone's face, you're going to want to tell them that you're going to now have steam going over their face that they know so you don't scare them. You don't want them to be shocked and suddenly they get this big burst of steam on their face. So you'd let them know. And also you want to just check for temperature, make sure it's not too uh, hot for them, if it's uncomfortable, you just take the, uh, it away a little bit more. And she's just distributing this across the face, making sure it's getting all over the face there. If a person has sensitive skin, you might want to do this just for five minutes or so. Otherwise, you could do this for 10 minutes. So just to go back again, we put the headband on, take the hair away from the face. 
Then we use a cleanser and we started cleaning the skin to take off any makeup, any might dirt there might be. Then we took off the cleanser. Then we've used those little white uh, sort of iPad there, had a, a lotion on that for the eyes, take off any makeup around the eyes. Then steam opens up the pores, softens up blackheads and whiteheads. So now we're ready for the scrub, the exfoliation. And as you see, as always, starting at the neck, coming up across, up through the chin, across the lips, through the nose. You can see she works right around those nostril areas where you tend to get a lot of blackheads. Up through it's called the T-zone, across the forehead. Always lifting strokes. You can see they're always the same direction pretty much all the time. Lifting up through the neck, up through the cheeks. So this is sloughing off uh, dead skin cells. Now, of course, we're using expensive products that we use in the spa here, but you can use natural products from your kitchen. There are oatmeal scrubs, salt scrubs, all different types, and you'll see them in, in the course, uh, the recipes that I have that you can make. So you can make the actual facial uh, very, very inexpensive. And, of course, it'd be natural as well. And as you can see, she's still using firm pressure. Now, I'm showing this side angle so you can see, see the machinery behind us, see what she's doing from this side. And then we're going to change the angle and you'll be able to see, uh, we have an angle basically above her face. So you get to see um, from a different angle. But from this, we're just doing the side angle here. Once again, nice warm sponges takes them out of the water, obviously squeeze the excess water out of them, and take off the exfoliant. So Dara's just rinsing those back in that water again, rinse them off, squeeze out the excess water, and once again, it just starts cleaning off the exfoliant. Now, okay, just to be entirely sure, what I got is just the cleanser that we used earlier on at the very start to clean the skin. You're just using these little pads that we used over the eyes, obviously a clean set, and she's just making sure that everything's spotlessly clean before we go into the next stage. So this is just a cleanser, clean off anything that might be left over there, really have everything nice and clean. You can see the strokes that Dara's using, nice, confident strokes all the time. And now, it's time for the next step.